Hello again and welcome to my second dip powder tutorial this week, this time for EC Cosmetics and I have this number 40 and it is a gorgeous blue with silver glitter dip powder and you can see it twinkle in there. I also have the dip powder liquids which consist of the activator, the base coat and the top coat. I will link all of these items that I got from Aliexpress in the description box below. My Cindy nails are prepared and ready to go. I've already done all the cuticle work and what I need to do. And as you've seen me do dip powders before, rather than waffle, you can watch, sit back and listen to some music. Okay, I'm going in with the activator now as they've all been dipped twice and this will cure and dry all of the layers of base coat and dip powder. Make sure to add a nice amount to cover the whole of the nail. Leave this to dry for a couple of minutes and you can also click the nail and when you hear or tap the nail when you hear a clicking sound you know that it's ready to gently file and buff um, back into shape. If you apply a thin layer of base coat to start with, the filing and that at the end will be really, really minimal because of you'll have a nice thin and smooth application. So I'm just going to wait for that to dry and then I'll be back. Okay, that wasn't a lot of filing left to do because I said it was a nice smooth application. Got the nails back into shape. I have a clean piece of tissue, I've buffed them smooth, I'm going in with the activator again and paint a nice layer of this over the surface of the nail and this time the activator acts as a fast dry for the top coat so you need to let this dry onto the nails, it only takes a couple of minutes if not seconds. like so. I don't often wipe the brush of that um, activator but what I'm using the tissue for is because I want to um, wipe the brush of the top coat from the first application layer of the top coat. It obviously it is hitting the nail that you have just painted with the activator and as this acts as a fast dry you do not want the activator to get into the brush of the top coat because once you put it back into that bottle you will harden the whole bottle of top coat and we obviously don't want that to happen. So you can see there I'm just doing two strokes not going over any part of the nail twice and wiping the brush each time before I replace it back into the bottle and literally by the time I have finished the thumb that is basically dry 
and you can see the gorgeous sparkle if I can get some focus absolutely stunning color dip powder with a gorgeous shine and as I said this is dry and now you can go in with your second layer of top coat to completely seal it and give the perfect smooth glossy finish do not need to wipe the brush this time because you've already wiped the brush and protected it from the activator that you applied to your nails I hope I'm making sense but what I do do is I do give the brush one final wipe the second time round after I've finished all five nails or four nails depending on how many I'm doing and dipping absolutely super system and easy to use I absolutely love rocking dip powders uh, dip powders at the moment just look at that gorgeous gorgeous blue with an awesome sparkle thank you so much for watching check the links below in the description box and as always i'll see you next time bye